What's up everybody? We're here at W Lim Corporation today. In today's video, we're gonna show you how they assemble their pumps. We were here previously, I think maybe like a month ago, and uh, we got to show you how they assembled their UVs, but at that time, they weren't in production for their pumps. Uh, William called me today and said, hey Kevin, come on over, we're doing pumps today. So here we are, we wanna show you the process, the behind the scenes on how to assemble the pond and aquarium pumps. I'm sure everyone would love to see this. This is something I've never seen before, and I think we're all gonna learn something from it. Come on guys. Okay, so they started the assembly of the pump. So let's see what they're doing here. Okay, so can you explain to me what what you were doing? Like you remo you're moving these screw. Okay, you're loosening the screw. Is that what it is? Yes. Okay, and then that mounts the the housing. I see. I'm trying to explain to everyone at home so they understand what we're looking at. Okay. So. Let me explain to everybody. So what we got here is uh, a long screw that runs all the way through, uh, four screws, and then it connects to the housing here. So that's why he, he assembled it here, and now that pulls it all together. Okay, so he put a level on there to make sure that it's level. <laughs> Okay, so I guess there's uh, some slight imperfections coming off the mold, so they had to sand it down to get it smooth, and they check it with a level to make sure everything's good. And now they do the final tightening up of the screws. Alright. Okay, I see. He's still adjusting the level here. go so that was the first step now the second step is mounting the impeller which is just simply screwing it on okay it's hand tightened oh, that's it and they popped on the cover for the fan and now I guess they're just gonna tighten it up So I think he's almost done. Now he has to put the O-ring on the cover and that prevents the water from leaking. Okay. Very simple, very straightforward. So if you guys ever need to take apart your pumps, don't be afraid to do it. I don't think it's rocket science here. Okay. What he did just there, putting his hands inside, was checking that the impeller is, is moving freely. What's he doing now? He's opening up the electrical box. I guess we're going to connect the wiring now.
so while he's finishing up the wiring um, we can see that was a very simple process the motor is bought by a third party the housing and the impeller is their own design and it's just about bringing it all together so you saw that they, they had the motor they put on the housing they screwed in the impeller and now they're doing the wiring so actually the assembling of a pump is fairly straightforward it's fairly simple and um, I know that when we have problems with our own pumps a lot of people are afraid to take it apart and and maybe see what's going on in there what's wrong um, you see it's very simple don't be afraid to take it apart open your pump there's nothing special about it you don't have to worry see he just did the wiring he's plugging it in he's testing it it's spinning okay so it's very straightforward okay you know, sometimes pumps get jammed uh, something gets stuck in the impeller and it doesn't work it's a very simple fix just open up this cover okay and the impeller is right there and sometimes something's jamming it maybe um, some food or, or something or a piece of gravel got stuck in there and got wedged so it could be a very quick fix for yourself and not having to go spend money on another pump right so don't be afraid to do it yourself so we just finished uh, assembling the pump and now I'm going back into the front office we are going to talk to the owner now we're gonna be building two new filtration systems for the shop at Predatory Fins and uh, let's go talk to him and see what he came up with for us all right here we go hey William okay so we're finished over there um, I, I filmed everything of them recording the pump okay all right I, I, I suck okay sure no problem so here he is Williams crunching some numbers for our system here uh, he's calculating out the gallons and um, he's figuring out the turnover rate that we need and just doing all the calculations to get us the right pump and matching it to the UV so um, we're gonna be oh uh, was it changing the the pumps and adding a UV to the big monster tank and also the round stingray tank so when we get that all together um, we're gonna be making the videos and uh, showing you how we're gonna install the pumps and the differences you will see between uh, what we had in the in the shop before and how noisy it was it's gonna be totally quiet now after we uh, upgrade to the new system and with the UVs the water is gonna be crystal clear and all the fish are gonna be really really happy so all right. William was at his desk crunching some numbers for us and now he's ready to explain to me um, he's giving us a personal consultation on the pumps that we're gonna be putting in to the to our facility uh, the, the big tank is about 13,000 or 14,000 gallons and we want to run only two pumps on there what William had explained to me was he needs to customize the pump for us uh, just so that he can tweak the performance and increase the flow output so that we can keep it down to two pumps and not have to run any extra pumps. So William's going to explain a little bit for you guys and explain to me at the same time so I get to learn something too. Sure, that's the reason it's really important to get exactly system gallon per hour, gallon per minute and total filter system what we have then we produce a UV strain to killing certain bacteria okay so I wanted to ask you um, so that was the pump and uh, we also want a UV for the system right okay a lot of people at home don't understand UV and how it works or um, the 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 dosages right yes. they just think okay let me plug in a UV and they go by the wattage and and that's it you know but I think it's more than wattage it, it's uh, gallons per minute or flow through yes and then the mega joules that the lamps put out and I think there's a, there's a formula or, or, or a science to it so that you can maximize the UV and, and get the performance that you yes. want right once you get the pump operating per minute then we could calculation the dose of how many lamp how strong the unit we put on than to come out. I, I've been doing this for government hatchery, was very fortunately lucky, and they love our system because it's not how much money they spend, but unfortunately we saved them lots of money. Mm -hmm. uh, they love us so much, then they then multiply to introduce us to all the government hatchery. I got some of them Right now they're doing about two thousand gallon per minute. Wow, that's <laughs> so. Anyway, we already set it up, ready to go. It just matter they waiting for the funding to come true. Okay. 
So that's the way right now the problem is certain amount of funding. They have to go through budget. I see. Sure. Okay. All right. So we're going to wrap it up here today. Um, William's going to design this system, and when he's done, uh, we're going to ship all the equipment back to Boca, and then I'll probably be flying over to Boca and work with Rodrigo on installing the system. All right. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you.